Look at that. Isn't that cool how the sun is on um, the uh, exhaust from that plane? The sun is on the plane too. It looks like a glowing dot going up there. <clears throat> we still have some color. There's the other way down our street, which I rarely show. Our big oak tree. Lots of bright yellow and that dark red. I'm going to turn you guys around now. Okay, we're on our way to church, and I will, I will, um, if we have color on the way, I'll, I'll record it. We've had a lot of rain and a lot of wind the last couple days, which is, you know, obviously par for the course in autumn to, uh, you know, drop all the leaves and stuff, which they're all dropped. There are leaves everywhere. But after we've had a few dry days, we can rake them and burn them. I'm going to turn you back around now. There we go. Now that some of the leaves are off the trees, you can see the lake a lot better. Looks, you can see it a lot better in real life than you can in the camera, phone, whatever. Yeah, we still got some color, but they're the dark, rusty, dark red, bright yellow. Not so much of the real pretty orangey red left. Yeah, there's a whole row of burning bushes there. I love them. My burning bush hasn't started to turn yet. Well, it's, you can start seeing it, but it's not like that one, like that hedge. Beautiful day. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sunny day. Lake looks nice. Probably you can't see all the colors across the lake like I can, but I never knew until I moved up here that even evergreens, some, some types of evergreens, change color in the fall. There's a bunch of them on the way to church. If I remember, I will record it, but they, they go yellow and drop leaves too. So uh, I never knew that. I always thought that they all stayed green, but not, such is not the case. I always like those trees right there. They're always very colorful. Right next, I think it's a doctor's office or something. Right across the street is the east. See, this would be the southeast corner of the lake. There's still some color. Not my favorite orangey red color, but there's still a lot of other colors out here. So. Temperature right now is 40-ish. I'm wearing this sweater. It's got all different colors in it, which is why I like it. And my black jacket, sweatshirty jacket that I like, that I just got this year and I love and I wear all the time. And then my um, then my dark gray corduroy pants. There's a bunch of the evergreen trees that have turned. Isn't that something? Look at there, they're all yellow. Well, not all of them. The ones that turn are yellow. It's pretty cool, huh? Yay, I got to show you guys. Okay, see you guys later. Bye. There is no real lasting joy in this world other than the joy of his presence. The eternal pleasures are all found in his right hand. Have you found it? Too many Christians have not. There are many joyless souls filling our churches. Souls who have not fully placed the Lord before their eyes. They believe he's up there, but they have not found him relevant because they have not sought him intimately. Hi guys, we are on our way to Traverse City. They are a little bit behind us on the colors because it stays warmer the closer you get to Lake Michigan. It stays warmer, so they're about a week behind us on colors, so you can see some, still see some pretty spectacular colors here on the way. The sun's not, when the sun doesn't shine, they don't look quite so bright.
Hi guys. That's uh, one of the bays, Grand Traverse, Little Traverse, I don't remember, but that's one of the bays that comes off of Lake Michigan here in Traverse City. Well, we're actually not in Traverse City yet. We're still in Acme, which is just the little, the little town um, right before Traverse City. However, they're building a big mire there. And we just stopped in at a Goodwill they just built there. And they built um, a tractor supply there. So the colors of the water are so pretty. The green and the diff There's like three shades from the different depths. So it's really pretty water. There's a little roadside park. Colors across there, which I don't know if you can see or not. There used to be mountain jacks down here, but they tore it down and put in this apartment building. So, it's windy. Yeah, it is windy. The water doesn't look too choppy, a little bit. So, we are on our way into Traverse City. Oh, look at those trees, guys. Uh, we're just at Save Big Money at Menards. Anyway, that's where we are. I don't know, we saved big money because this week everything in the store you get an 11% rebate. So we should be able to get 20 bucks or something. We got, he's putting it in now for heat for the motorhome. Two different motorhome or people's recommended, so that's what we got. And uh, our camper temp, you know, um, trailer or whatever, camper people. We also got the uh, HEPA thing for to get help get the smoke smell out of the motorhome because we've got as much as we can Pete said by just airing it look at that view guys look at all the beautiful trees in the bay the Traverse Bay oh my goodness I just had to turn this on and show you as we came over that hill beautiful we're going back north back toward town to grab something to eat there's a buffalo farm on the right Tons of buffaloes, but look at those. Oh my goodness. Wow. God's creation is just amazing. Especially in the fall and in the winter. Okay, I'm getting back into traffic now, so I want to go. Hey guys, we just stopped at Outback for dinner, and um, then we're going home. We got everything we needed up here in Traverse City for less money than we thought we would have to spend, so that always makes me happy. Otherwise, we'd be eating McDonald's. No, not really. I don't like McDonald's. I don't go to McDonald's. <laughs> Although I do like their fish sandwiches. <laughs> You'd be eating at the Coney Dog Place. Yeah, the Coney Dog Place. That would have been good, though. There, you know, there's a ton of restaurants in Traverse City, but not that many that we actually like. <laughs> so we tend to gravitate toward the Outback a lot. All right, so I will see you guys later, probably after we get home, because I'm driving. I'm driving home. We get bread too. So I won't be recording on the road. That upsets Pete terribly. I will see you guys later when we get home. Bye. It's about a quarter to eight and uh, we're home. The animals are taken care of. I got my cup of tea. I'm ready to do my vlog. And since I elected to hit the snooze button a few more times this morning instead of record, uh, when I'm done with this, I will probably go over and run through the songs from today's uh, church so I get can get those ready. Very cool. Very excited to be off work. Um, I go through this elation every year. It's, I don't have to go. I don't have to work tomorrow. I don't have to get up early. That's the main thing. And then on Mondays, of course, now I can start going to the prayer meetings um, at noon up in Ross Common every week, which is a big deal to me because I like that. Um, and then, uh, you know, it's just cool. We are going to be taking off probably midweek, depending on how the 
how the um, everything goes with uh, heat and cleaning out the motorhome. Today we bought a, a heater, we bought a steam cleaner to clean, and we bought um, a HEPA filtration thing. It's supposed to get through 250 square feet in an hour to totally replace the air or whatever. Well, a motorhome is only about 200 square feet inside, so, or maybe a little, I think it's about 200 anyway. I figure 7 by 30 um, inside. So that is, uh, we'll have that running and we'll be able to, you know, really clean it with a steam cleaner. And of course, Pete can do the carpets with uh, really strong stuff. Um, and I think it'll only take a couple days. Tuesday, I want to take my mom to get her hair cut. And I'm going to go too, of course. I, but I asked Mary if she could just shape this up somehow because it's getting shaggy and she knows I don't like it short in the in the uh, summertime. I mean the wintertime, but it needs some sort of shape. Um, that's the same Mary that leads the singing at church. Uh, so I think that's about it. Uh, after I'm done with this, I'm going to put a little thing that uh, from the end of our church service today because it was really nice. Um, so I'll put it after the end of the vlog. So if you don't want to watch it, you can just turn it off after this. Um, but this was Pastor Appreciation Month. And every year uh, Mary gets a card for the pastor and we all sign it and write notes in it and, you know, put a little something in for them, for him, for them, both of them because they both do the job, so, um, you know, it was just kind of nice, and it was cute this morning, so I, I, uh, I kept my camera running, and I will put it after I finish this, so if you want to see it, you can, if you don't want to, you don't have to, so that is all, um, it's, you got to get some hard work, oh yeah, we got a 24 inch TV, flat screen TV, it was uh, an open box, but it's 1040p, and it's got all the bells and whistles on it, but it was at Best Buy with an open box, so it was only $140. Bucks. Um, we got that one for the motorhome. We took the big TV out of the big box and left a big hole up there, and so um, we're going to figure out how to mount that in that spot. So there will be a TV there, and it will be hooked up if we go to a, a campground that has cable TV, which we probably won't this year. Um, but we're just shooting for electric, and that's the best we can hope for because most of them turn the water off when it gets cold, So, which is fine because we have, we have enough water usually. Uh, if we don't use a shower, we have enough water for usually four or five days. Um, and the campgrounds where we go have showers, so we don't have to worry about that but anyway so we did get this little tv too while we were there and it also will hook up to a computer it's got a a monitor uh regular monitor thing you can plug them on plug it and use it as a monitor too so you know we can watch youtube videos or we can do whatever on it so um that will be fun that will be fun uh but uh, I got some clothes, too, at the thrift store. We went to the Goodwill. I got the, bra the brand new Goodwill that's in Acme. I got some clothes. I got a book for Leland. I got a video, or I'm sorry, a CD, uh, Music Canadian Brass, who I absolutely am crazy about. And um, let's see. Oh, yeah, and a little bag of sugar for candy. Caramel cream. I think that about covers a day. We just stopped at Wendy's for a burger on the way up there, like right after church. Then we got up there and we did our, we went to um, Best Buy and we went to Menards and we went to um, Goodwill. And then after all that, it was like four and a half hours later and we were getting hungry again. So we stopped at Outback to eat and then we came home. So all in all, it was a very productive day, wouldn't you say, dear? Oh, uh, yeah. As yep. soon as I get my coffee, I'll be even more productive. That's right. I got my tea, and I'm ready to crash. But all the pets are happy to see us, and so. All right, I'm out. 
I will see you guys tomorrow. I hope you all had a great, satisfying weekend. We definitely did. And um, hope you all have a marvelous Monday. So take care. God bless and good night. No, they're not. No, you're not. Sit down. <laughs> Mary has spoken. <laughs> well, I'm sure if you don't know it by now, you should, that we have had pastor appreciation for the whole month. If you didn't appreciate your pastor enough, then maybe you better figure it out between now and, and next year. But anyway... <laughs> God provides us with people as spiritual leaders, you know, to grow us and to bring us to the Lord. And he brought David into our presence, and he has done so much to help grow me as a person and, and in ways that, you know, I can't praise God enough for. And I am just so thankful that the Lord provides people in our lives that you know, can be an encouragement and uh, can lead us in the, the ways of truth and, and, you know, just lead us into the light. You know, get us out of this dark world and out of our depressed selves and, and just realize what's really important. And our God is important. He is the number one most important thing in our life. And I just praise the Lord for bringing David and Trish here so many years ago and obviously the Lord had something in mind when he, <laughs> when he brought us anyway, I praise him this morning and I hope the rest of you do as well because he's uh, taught me a lot he brought me a long way in the Lord so. Thank all of you. I think, like I said a hundred times before, you're the best congregation in the world. I've learned a lot from you. You probably don't realize that when I'm listening to you, you're teaching me as well. So thank you for that. Are we dismissed now? Okay. All right. <laughs>